Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Bee Yard. We have two beehives in the backyard using eight frame boxes and we added the flow frames, six of them, on May 17th to Queen Ruby the Second's hive. That hive had a lot more bees than the other hive because that one was started out with a nuke while the other one was started out with a package this spring. So they got a much better head start than the other one. So we added the queen excluder and then the flow frames on top. Since the flow hive appeared to be pretty full of honey, I went ahead and added a, another box of regular frames that weren't drawn out underneath the flow frames. And that was done on June 13th. When I did an inspection of the flow frames, it didn't look like the caps were on all the honey, so I decided not to do any harvesting when I added that second box on. And this is all pretty much blackberry honey that they've been collecting. So that's our main honey flow for the year. So they collect as much nectar as they can in a short period of time. It usually lasts maybe three weeks. So they got those filled up and on June 25th we did an inspection and found that most of the frames um, were not fully capped, but the third frame in had about 80% of the frames capped, so we decided to go ahead and harvest that one frame. The reason you want to wait to harvest until the cells are capped is because the capped cells tells you that the moisture content of the honey is low. If you don't wait until it's capped, then the moisture content is too high, likely, and if it's too high, then the honey will likely ferment, so you'd have to eat it pretty fast before that happens. So that's why people, people say to use a moisture under 20%, some sites say. Other sites I've seen say 18.5%. So I, I took my honey to a local bee store and they tested it with their refractometer at 17.3%. Now I bought a honey refractometer off of Amazon for around $30. Uh, but I didn't have a way to calibrate it because you need to buy a special solution to calibrate your refractometer. And another way you can do it is if you have a known, if you have a solution of a known percentage, you can use that to calibrate it. So since I knew my honey was at 17.3%, I just use my honey to calibrate my refractometer. So next time I do a harvest, I can just do the, the testing myself. And my bee mentor came over to watch. So in this video, we have the first quart being filled at real time. It only took about five minutes. And then the second quart took much longer to, to fill. It took more like 25 minutes. And we did have a problem with a couple bees falling into the honey. So we decided to go ahead and, and cover it with saran wrap. It wasn't a lot of bees and I was able to to get them out and it looks like they they were going to survive. They were just a little sticky. But this video hopefully shows you that the flow frames do work. Um, and you can see my past videos on how we installed them and how we modified the box because a lot of people think you need to to buy the whole flow hive set up but you can actually just buy the frames which is much cheaper than buying the whole flow hive set up. So if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment and thanks for watching.